G'day everyone, Artist Wade here and welcome to another digital speed painting video. And today I am painting a family of thylacines, but they're more commonly known as the Tasmanian Tiger or the Tasmanian Wolf. They were the largest known carnivorous marsupial of modern times. And they were native to continental Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea. They are believed to have become extinct in the 20th century. But I don't believe that for a second. Now let's talk about the painting process. I'm using Photoshop and a little Wacom tablet, which is basically a pad that comes with a digital pen that you can use just like a paintbrush. Now a lot of people ask me how do I blend the colors? Well I find that it's easier to blend the colors when you make your brush transparent. And using Photoshop that's really easy to do. And because I paint on a colored background I start with my light colors and I'm basically letting the black show through. So digitally painting is a very fast painting process. Now I've always been fascinated by thylacines. They were shy nocturnal creatures with the general appearance of a medium to large sized dog except for the stiff tail and abdominal pouch very similar to a kangaroo. They had dark transverse stripes that radiated from the top of its back similar to those of a tiger and they were the apex predator just like tigers and wolves of the northern hemisphere from which they obtained two of their common names. But being a marsupial it was not closely related to these placental mammals. But because of convergent evolution it displayed the same general form and adaptations. Its closest living relative is thought to be either the Tasmanian Devil or the Numbat. But they are also very similar to the Quoll. And the Thylacine was one of only two marsupials to have a pouch in both sexes. The other being the Water Possum. The male thylacine had a pouch that acted as a protective sheath covering his external reproductive organs while he ran through thick bush. The thylacine has been described as a formidable predator because of its ability to survive and hunt prey in extremely sparsely populated areas. They became extremely rare or extinct on the Australian mainland before British settlement but it survived on the island of Tasmania along with several other endemic species including the Tasmanian Devil. Extensive hunting encouraged by bounties is generally blamed for its extinction but other contributing factors may have been disease, the introduction of dogs and human encroachment into its habitat. Despite its official classification as extinct, sightings are still reported to this day. Now it's not that easy painting what a thylacine looked like because descriptions of the thylacine vary as evidence is restricted to preserved joey specimens, fossil records, skins and skeletal remains, black and white photographs and film of the animal in captivity and accounts from the field. A mature sized thylacine ranged from 100 to 130 centimeters long plus a tail of around 50 to 65 centimeters. Adults stood about 60 centimeters at the shoulder and weighed 20 to 30 kilograms. And males were generally larger than the females. The female thylacine had a pouch with four teats, but unlike many other marsupials, the pouch opened to the rear of its body. But the thylacine is probably most famous for the ability to open its jaws to an unusual extent up to 80 degrees. The thylacine resembled a large short haired dog with a stiff tail which smoothly extended from the body in a way similar to that of a kangaroo. Many European settlers drew direct comparisons with the hyena because of its unusual stance and general demeanor. Its yellow brown coat featured 13 to 21 distinctive dark stripes across its back, rump and the base of its tail, which earned the animal the nickname Tiger. The stripes were more pronounced in younger specimens, fading as the animal got older. 
One of the stripes extended down the outside of the rear thigh. Its body hair was dense and soft, up to 15 millimeters in length. In juveniles, the tip of the tail had a crest. Its rounded, erect ears were about 8 centimeters long and covered with soft fur. Coloration varied from light fawn to a dark brown. And the belly was cream colored. So using all of this information, I was endeavouring to paint a family of thylacines. And once I had the four thylacines fully painted, I was going to bring in a nice photographic background that they could be placed into. Now that might sound easy, but it's always a bit of a task to find something that suits the digital image that I've been painting. Obviously I need to be happy with it, and it needs to look believable and suit the group of tigers. And I think I tried three different images. I found a lovely image that my wife Jackie had photographed in Tasmania around Cradle Mountain. And the photo was in black and white. And although that made the tigers stand out somewhat, in the end I chose to have a coloured background. So the next photo background I used was a was more of an open plains, grassy area. Again, it was a photograph that I took at Cradle Mountain. And although it suited the image and it looked great, I thought it was a bit too open an area for a family of thylacines to just be resting in. So in the end, I used this beautiful rainforest setting with a nice mossy foreground that would become the background home to the family of thylacines. Then it was just a matter of adding some mist, cleaning up the edges of the tigers, and basically painting in some shadows. And that's the beauty of using Photoshop, because you can work in layers. I had the background photograph image of the rainforest as my first layer. On top of that I had the tigers. I had a separate layer for the mist, and another layer for the shadows. Having these different layers allows me to tweak them individually. It's easy to make small or large changes to each layer without affecting the rest of the image. And once I'm happy with it, I just compress all the layers down to one, and I make my final adjustments to that image. And voila! There you have it, my digital painting of a family of beautiful thylacines. Or as they're more commonly known as the Tassie Tiger. I'm artist Wayne Dowsant, and thanks for watching everyone.